Hello everyone, I guess you hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with a spiritual warrior slayer guide for old school runescape in my endless adventure to make as many slayer guides or just guides as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. On top of that, plenty of links you can check me out down below, and I'd appreciate that greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you kill spiritual warriors? In my opinion, it is a no. A very solid no. I, I wouldn't do this task. So if you have the ability to, I would just go ahead and skip. If not, or if you just want to do them anyways, to try them out. Uh, I'll start by saying they're very little profit. Um, per kill, it, it breaks down very poorly. You might make 50 to 100k per task. Not that great, especially considering where it's located and kind of how difficult it is to get there. It's also a really slow task on top of that they aren't easy to kill they're also spread out they're not going to be aggro as well so there's just not any factors really working in your favor here for the requirements you'll need 68 slayer to be able to kill them in the first place 43 prayer as well to be able to protect against them if you'd like and then 70 hit points to get to the location that i'll be talking about in this guide you can kill them without having 70 hit points however i imagine almost essentially everyone that has 68 slayer will have 70 hit points so it shouldn't be too big of a deal spiritual warriors are weak to everything in this guide i'll be talking about melee and range setups considering those are the best for slayer spiritual warriors attack with a melee based style and their max hit is an 11 which is a decent bit but it's also not too terrible loot wise you can expect hard clues at a 1 in 128 rate and the overall gp per kill is about 800 it's a little higher closer to 1.1 to 1.2k however you're not going to be able to pick up everything here and even if you could and you wanted to alk it you, you still wouldn't really make much money off what you were alking for the melee options here we have three different setups down below a low medium and high level setup um these options all contain prayer based armor we got initiate in the first setup and then proselyte in the second two you could also bring monk's robes if you don't have either of those but all the items are listed down below essentially going for a good prayer bonus on top of that some good dps now you don't necessarily have to bring prayer based armor if you feel confident with your defense and how much food you'll be able to bring then you could also go with any of these defensive options in the top right between dragon barrows or bandos whichever one you'd like to go with you can choose for yourself however i just recommend you try them both out and see which one works best for your setup also take note in these setups i have a zamorakian blessing in the arrow slot so that is going to be my protection against the zamorakian monsters that will be around me when i kill these and then for the range options we have a couple different med level setups on the left hand side just your base black dehyde uh, beyond that god wise i have zamorakian bracers and on top of that i have a book of law the book of law is good for ranging but it also has the armadillion aspect of it as well so that's kind of nice here in the god wars dungeon on the right hand side they are a good mix of all the different god dehydes that way i'm just more protected whenever i go down there realistically all you need is zamorak however the more you have the less damage you'll take initially when you go down into the god wars dungeon all of the items are listed below there is a safe spot that you can go ahead and use so that is why i'd actually recommend range to an extent not saying that you have to use it but if you're in a situation where you don't want to take damage or maybe you're low defense it surely is possible and worth doing then for the location we're going to be going to the god wars dungeon for this the best option to get there is going to be the trollheim teleport which you need to have completed edgar's ruse to be able to use i will say that is by far the best teleport and essentially is going to save you a ton of time on your first trip on your second trip on however many trips you come to the god wars dungeon before you unlock it you're basically just wasting time so don't do it just go do the quest i know it's tough but the second option is a very long walk to get here i'll explain it a bit more but i'm not going to be happy explaining it and you're going to be even less happy when you have to go and walk it so just know that Alrighty, so say you want to get here through the long path, then you go ahead and teleport to Berthorp with a games necklace. You run to the northwest, this little crossroad. You can go either way and make your way around to this area right here. If you go this way through the death plateau and climb up these rocks, you're going to want to pray range right here since there'll be trolls that attack you right there. So once you get to this little area, then continue north and go to the east. You'll run through this area where you killed dad previously in a quest, and then you'll continue on into this tunnel area go around the tunnel it's very simplistic there's really nothing i have to tell you there and once you exit the other side of the tunnel you will finally be here it doesn't sound as bad when i'm just zooming around on a map but when you actually have to go and do that run it's it's pretty terrible if you teleported here it's pretty easy just go ahead and click down the rocks and then manage your way down to the west side over here um for the inventory i have two super combat potions usually i like to bring broken down super sets but because we're so far away from a bank and food or prayer potions are going to be such an essential 
I decided to go for the more condensed version of the potion. Beyond that, a Trollheim teleport to get here, a Slayer Ring to get away from here. I also have a Stamina just because it's kind of nice, honestly, for me. Um, you don't have to bring it. It just helps me run around right now and run around once I get into the God Wars dungeon. Um, if it's your first time ever coming to the God Wars dungeon, you're going to need a rope as well to be able to get down. And then from there, you can fill your inventory with food or prayer potions, depending on which sort of setup you're coming here with. If you're going to be using prayer potions and maybe inventory space is sort of problematic at that point, you could also bring high alk, so that way you can high alk more things that spiritual warriors drop. I guess you could do that no matter the situation. I just really don't think it's worth it. They don't really drop anything that much and the few things that are worth value you could just store away in the inventory and take to the bank. But one way or another, enter through to the God Wars dungeon area. You can either enter through the agility obstacle or push the boulder. Once you get up here towards these wolves, then just throw on your protect from melee and you'll be good to go. This snow will slowly degrade your stats and will also take away your run energy. That's part of the reason I brought the stamina. Once you're down here though, then go ahead and make a mad dash to the northeast because if you don't have a lot of god items, you might kind of get wrecked as soon as you hop on in. Luckily, nothing really happened to me there, so I'm happy to be able to have gotten out of there scot-free, but once you make your way on over to the ice bridge, then go ahead and cross it. You will then lose all of your prayer points, which is a little tough, but you know, do what you gotta do. Once you're down in the Zamorakian area, then just go ahead and run all the way to the east, and there will be a big opening right in front of the Zamorakian lair, where there are just a ton of different warriors, mages, the basically everything that the Zamorakian area has to offer. As you can see right here, three spiritual warriors in a tight distance. We got a fourth, a fifth, a sixth over there. So really you're not gonna have any problems trying to find them. Once you get down here, then just go ahead and pot up and get to killing. As I did mention before, they can max an 11, so you might take a decent bit of damage. So if you find yourself taking too much, then feel free to come here next time with a prayer potion inventory. But if you think you're able to handle it just fine, then a defensive setup isn't too bad either. Drop-wise, they don't really hand out too much, as you saw right there. A nice little adamant battle axe, which would be a good situation for me to go ahead and use the high elks, or just throw it on in my inventory. As I mentioned before, the GP per kill is pretty low, so I, I feel like that's kind of an outlier. Most of the time, you'll be getting nothing worth picking up, and the real money will come through whenever you get something like a rune kite shield, a rune longsword, or a rune halberd, or something of that caliber. But beyond that, there are a few things you could go ahead and pick up if you needed. Most of the things that you see are going to be much like that. Just a steel chain body that's barely even worth thinking about. And then if you want to go ahead and range, as you can see, there are tons of little piles of rubble around here that you can just stand behind and use to go ahead and use as a barrier, I guess. But that is going to be it for the Spiritual Warriors Guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. On top of that, anything you'd like to tell me or others, we'd love to know in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as you go live, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you like the guides, make sure to recommend them to your friends and, you know, help them out in the same way that I have been able to help you out. And I'd appreciate that a lot. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.